Oh, we're just gonna wait? Yeah. Well, we'll wait. Do this later? Are you gonna do it now? You wanna get my hair? Yeah, wanna help me out? You're talking and then yeah, I'm already talking. Yeah, you're just kind of like lingering well, in the back and I'm well, like, is he coming in? Is he waiting? Is he just like... This is like it, double dutch. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for that camel, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't do <laughs> Flannel's gonna catch on oh fire. God. You know what? This is how we uh, I'm gonna take my hair out. I'm gonna move this uh, candle. Sure. I'm, gonna fix it. I'm getting the cramp. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. This is, I think, a great way to do an interview. I do too. I hope it's awesome. <laughs> Anything you wanna ask good. me, I'm ready. <laughs> Today we are in Philadelphia. Yay! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Yep, and we're gonna get some amazing cheesesteaks tonight, but first, Monday Night Raw. Yep, yep. You want me to grab a folding chair for you? I'm sure you don't have to stand on it. No, no. All right. We got that. We have to do the moment of truth. We gotta put you guys over. It's the best shoes in town. Let's so shoes first do a visual comparison. Okay. It seems like Pat's had smaller pieces of meat, whereas Probably Gino's has longer slabs of meat. Um, Pat's definitely has more cheese. Um, at least cheese on the outside. I think a lot of the cheese is on the end. So the moment of truth. Whoa. <laughs> We shall see. Whoa. Right? I'll say I'm going for Gino's. Wow. The bread? Yeah. Gino's. Gino's. The bread? Oh my god. The peppers. The, the sweet peppers. It's coming. Bread's so good. Wow. Yeah, the bread? 
This is amazing. I got the cheese. Let me. One more back here. One more back here. This is so good. This is the best Philly cheese I've ever eaten. So good. These are both amazing. Wow. They really are. Ma'am, as my preference is light on the cheese. I gotta say, Gino's. But I you know I'm not like I'm not the end all be all of cheese steaks. Okay, please, sorry, Pat's. Don't get mad at me. And <laughs> tell me, I'm just not a cheesy person. That was so, too much cheese. If you really really like cheese, I suggest Pat's. If you're like me and like more meat than cheese, go for Gino's. Yeah, I'm all about ratios. I'm going so, for Gino's. I need like a two, a two to one to one ratio of so meat to onion to cheese. And this is like a two to two to one. And this is just more my ratio. So whatever your ratio is, pick what you like. <laughs> that neck. Mm. But this is this is my personal preference. Thank you, Gino's, for letting us bring the blasphemy of the next door cheesesteak into. This is like turning over the process in church, so I really well, shove me an egg, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so good. My, this is got the rowdy stamp. It's the best cheesesteak in town. Let's do a toast. Toast. Cheesesteak. Cheesesteak. Before we get into everything we did tonight, um, how did you feel about the shield reuniting? Because I remember the first time they broke out, you were pretty devastated. Yes, I was very devastated. I'm always gonna love the shield to the very end. And um, <laughs> Roman's back and the shield's together and like after seeing them all like hold each other and crying and like everything on Roman left and seeing them back together, I'm just so happy that Roman's okay and the shield's back together. And it's just like, oh, yay. Like it's, it warms my little heart, my little cold, my cold little ice cube. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so tonight we saw a more vicious side of your personality. Is this a side you plan to show more of, or did Um, it's just that, like, I'm tired of just being here to entertain people, you know? And, um, not taking any more direction or notes or orders. And every time I go out there, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. And they're just gonna have to keep filming and cashing the checks I bring in. What else are they gonna do? Not accept the money I'm making them? So Charlotte seemed content letting you and Becky mix it up in the ring tonight. Are you worried that you might be concentrating too much on Becky and not enough on Charlotte? No, I'm not worried. Becky pissed me off the most recently. I promised. And you know what? I don't even call her Becky. Rebecca Quinn talked shit about my husband, and I told her I'd beat the fuck out of her next time I saw her. And guess what? I beat the fuck out of her, didn't I? It's been building up in me since Survivor Series, 100%. Yeah. Because me and Charlotte put on, I mean, it was a hell of a fucking match. And, Close. and I took up a hell of a beating. And there wasn't a person there that wasn't completely fixated on everything that was going on every single second. We completely stole the show of the whole card and in the same venue where I fought Kat Zingano at home, they booed me out of the stadium. And that was just such a slap in the face. And I'm just like, you know what, fuck you people. Fuck all you guys. Like, even Los Angeles. No, they, they don't have any fucking pride in their own city at all. They don't. 
Oh, the Lakers are winning now. I'm gonna go for the Lakers. Oh, the Clippers are winning now. I'm gonna go for the Clippers. I don't think anybody fucking knows the Rams are there. And the fucking Dodgers got booed out of the stadium at home during the World Series. You know what? That whole city is just a bunch of people who are fucking transplants. They're trying to escape shitty ass fucking Ohio or wherever the fuck that they're from. And they have no pride in LA. And they're gonna come to our fucking games and shit on our teams and say, I'm fucking from Los Angeles. I've been living here for 10 years. No, you're fucking not. So it's been bubbling up in me since then. So tonight when you were um, giving your promo and... It wasn't a promo. They gave me other things to say. I didn't fucking say it. Oh, really? It's a thing. It's not a fucking promo. It's not an act. I'm not going out there and doing their fucking act anymore. They can say it's part of the act and try to save face to everybody else, but it's not an act. I'm going out there, I'm doing whatever the hell I want, and they can explain it away however they want, but fuck them. Everybody, WWE Universe included. I meant that I'm going to disrespect the sport that they all love so much. Oh, don't break kayfabe, Ronda. Wrestling's it's scripted, it's made up, it's not real. None of those bitches can fucking touch me. The end.